going to show you. Oh, somebody just ordered something again. what's going on everybody welcome back if you're new here welcome if you're old here welcome back not saying you're old but thank you for subscribing <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about how to package your packages in my last video i talked about how to start your online business in 2020 i hope you guys enjoyed that and learned a lot so today it's going to be like a sequel we're going to talk about how to package your packages for your business before we get into this video i just want to announce that i'm doing a giveaway Yes, I'm doing a giveaway. It's free. These are the simple things you have to do to enter the giveaway. One, you need to follow my personal Instagram page. I'm gonna put it over here in the corner. I'll also drop my social media links in my description. Once you follow me on Instagram, my personal page on Instagram, you need to like a photo and then hashtag under it giveaway. Second, follow my business page on Instagram. I'll put it over here too and also in the description. You need to like a photo from there and then hashtag giveaway. When I say hashtag giveaway, I want you to comment under the photos on my personal Instagram page and on my business Instagram page. Hashtag giveaway. And I'm gonna shout you out here on my YouTube. So go ahead and do that real quick. Now let's get into this video. The platform that I use for my business is called Shopify. Shopify does everything for you. I love Shopify. No, this is not advertisement for Shopify. Yes, I'm giving you gems, so please listen and take notes. My business name is Amanda James Way, and I sell beauty and skin care products. Now, I use the platform Shopify. So I have the app on my phone so that I can fulfill orders from wherever I am. So the order we're gonna be fulfilling today is from a customer who ordered a mini exfoliating silicone pad and a nano iconic facial steamer. So I'm gonna show you where I keep some of my inventory. I have a basin that I brought down so that you guys can see what I keep my stuff in and how I fulfill orders. So this is one of the basins I keep some of my products in. So the customer ordered a mini silicone exfoliating pad and a nano iconic facial steamer. So my silicone pads are over here. This is a pink one. This is a pink one. And they also got a facial steamer, which is over here. All right, so I just showed you the products that the customer had ordered. So now we're gonna go into the Shopify app. We're gonna hit create shipping label. So after we hit create shipping label, up at the top right corner, there are three dots where we're gonna hit, it's gonna say print packing slip. After you hit print packing slip, it's gonna show you what the packing slip is gonna look like. And then at the top right corner, there is a printer icon. You're gonna hit that so that you can select what printer you wanna use and then print your packing slip. So my printer is upstairs. So I'm gonna go grab what I just printed off, my packing slip, bring it back downstairs and then show you what it looks like. All right, so I folded the packing slip. This is what it looks like and I'm gonna put it inside the box or the envelope that I'm gonna to use to ship these products out. Um, since this one is kind of big because of the facial steamer, I'm gonna use a box, but just for this video, I'm gonna use the envelopes. I'm just gonna show you what I usually do for smaller products and smaller orders. So, these are the mailers that I use. It is rose gold, it's metallic, I love it. You can get it off of Amazon, they're super cheap. You get, they're super cheap. You can get them in like bundles, like a big package, but they look like this. These are the ones that I use. Moving along, when I put my products in here, when I'm packaging my packages, I also include a thank you card. Something, you know, quick, nice for the customers. Let them know we appreciate you. On the back, there's a discount code. Yes, I'm covering up the discount code because you can't get that yet. You need to order something first. I'm gonna put my thank you note inside. I'm also going to put my mini silicone facial pad inside. Along with the packing slip. 
and in a perfect world, the facial steamer too. So we're just gonna imagine that the facial steamer is in here too. So now I have to go and weigh this. So when weighing your products, it's probably best to have your own scale at home so that it kind of eliminates you going back and forth from the UPS or USPS or FedEx or whatever you want to use. So I encourage you to get your own scale at home so that you can weigh your products and your packages and then print, print out your shipping labels and send them off. So here's my scale. I like to zero it out for good measure. All right, so it's on pounds and ounces. I'm going to put my package on there. And it says it's about four ounces. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into Shopify and Shopify is gonna convert it into pounds or if it's still kind of light, it'll leave it in ounces. So now that we've weighed our packages, we can now put that into Shopify. Then after Shopify converts it to pounds or leaves it in ounces, you're gonna click create shipping label and then print shipping label. It'll give you prices on which one is cheapest if you're using UPS, USPS, FedEx, or any other mailing service. It'll give you a price for that. After you select your label, just click what printer you wanna use and then print it out. There's a specific type of paper you should use for your shipping labels. It's shipping label paper. You don't have to use it, but I think it's best. Um, you can use regular paper and then probably tape it to the front of your packages, but to be more professional, you should get shipping label paper. I'll show you what it looks like. This is shipping label paper. Um, it has a crease in the middle where you can tear it, where you can peel it off because the other side is sticky. It has adhesive on it. Um, so I'm gonna try to give you a closer look at this. There's a line in the middle of it. I don't know if you can really see it, but it bends. So you wanna load your paper into the printer, paper side down, like this, paper side down. The other side is shiny and you'll feel the difference. So when you load your paper in there, put the paper side down and the shiny side up. When you print your label, it will print on this side and your label will appear here. I'll show you in a second. And this is the shipping label. So remember when I said put the paper side down, the shiny side up, and it will come out just like this? That's exactly what I did. And this is what I got. Um, so it bends, so I'm gonna peel it, okay? I'm gonna peel it off. So it bends up just like that, it folds, and I'm just gonna peel the label off. And I'm gonna stick it right on the envelope. And voila, it is done, it's ready to be shipped. So, after you've done that and you put your shipping label on there, you put your products in there, you got your packing slip, you're ready to go. Seal that envelope and ship it off. Take it to your nearest UPS postal office or your US or your USPS office or FedEx or wherever you want to use, whatever you want to use. Um, and then you're done. You've done it. You have shipped off your packages. Do that for every package and you'll be good to go. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Really appreciate all the support and the love that you guys give me. Um, comment down below. Tell me some things you thought were very helpful. You know how to do it. Um, I love reading you guys' comments always. It makes me better. I love hearing from you. Um, remember to like this video and remember to share this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.